start it in just a moment where we wanted to say hello to those of you who are on the chat already on Judge Online and on YouTube Premier as well. Yeah, would you like to know what you've had from that? Go on then, Jimmy. It takes three minutes to brew the optimum Yorkshire tea, and that is exactly the time that you have left. Emily, you do realise that not the tea doesn't actually come from Yorkshire, but anyway, you've still got time to, uh, to make a brew if you would like to. We're going to be kicking off in just a moment as we continue our series on the Jesus I Thought I Knew. But if you're with us on the uh, online platform, then do say hi. I'm just having a quick look on YouTube. I can see already um, that Kate is ch chatting away on here as well. Uh, we need a few more hellos as well. Uh, and on the online platform as well, you can say hi. Anyway, we shall be back with you very shortly. So Don't grab that shortly. tea. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Well, a very good morning and welcome to Church Online, coming to you from the Salt House, but of course also broadcasting in your very own home, wherever you're connecting in. My name is Matt and I'm a curate here. And my name is Emily and I am on Leadership Development Year here. A very warm welcome to you. If you are new this morning, please do click the New Here tab and we absolutely makes our day if you email us at hello at stswiddens.org.uk. Even if you're not new, drop us an email. I wonder if you managed to get that cup of tea. Uh, Emily is convinced all tea does come from Yorkshire. Does, I'm not so does. sure. It's true. <laughs> uh, we hope you've had a brilliant week. We certainly have. Um, some highlights from your week, Emily? Um, we had the Rising Gens Leaders Hub and we played um, a Weatherspoons quiz, which was a lot of fun. Very good. I know that Alpha had their teams training as well, ready for that. Uh, we had Love Your Neighbour kicking off here. Loads of brilliant things as well. I hope you have as well. It's lovely to see uh, more people now on the Church Online platform. Couldn't see so many before, but good morning, Hollandbees. Uh, Claire, Fiona, James, uh, Paul and Anne, Claire, and also on YouTube Premier as well, a few names popping up. So good to see you there. Uh, now this morning, we're going to carry on our series. Last week, uh, Jim and Mads uh, were kicking off the series, The Jesus I Thought I Knew. See, see what he's done there? I do. Very clever. And we'll be thinking a bit about invitation a bit later on, invitation. So we've got that coming up, and Jim will be speaking later on. So uh, why don't we kick things off in a time of worship? So why don't we stand, uh, if you're able to, and I'll kick us off in a prayer. Eternal Lord, our beginning and our end, bring us with the whole creation to your glory, hidden through past ages, but no made known through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <laughs> This is my testimony, this 
Continue, we're going to move into a time of prayer. And for this bit, if you've got any paper chains, then you can make paper chains along with us. But don't worry if you haven't, you can still join in as well. We're thinking about invitation and how invitations are often a bit like a chain reaction. We're going to pray and add links to our chain. We're going to begin by praying for people that we know and that we have connections to. You might want to bring to mind those people that you uh, live with, those people who are your neighbours, who go to your school. You might want to write on your chain some of those names as we pray. So Lord Jesus, we pray for those that we know that we're connected to. Thank you for our friendships and our families, our connections through school, through work, and through other places. We pray, Jesus, that you would give us the opportunity to shine out like lights, uh, to tell people of your amazing love. And we're sorry for the times that we put our light underneath um, a bowl and don't shine out for you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And now we're going to pray for our city and all the different connections that we have across the city of Lincoln. I'm going to try and do this with a microphone. Let's see if we can do it. Father, we pray for our city and all the connections that we have in it. And we just pray that you would bring to mind those people who we can invite to know you, Lord. Amen. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And then finally, we're going to pray for um, our nation and the nations that we are connected to. So you might just want to bring to mind that uh, the places that are on your heart, maybe things that you've seen in the news or heard about, maybe you've got friends, family, others you know, uh, people you're praying for in other parts of the world. So Lord God, we pray for our global neighbours. Uh, we pray, Father, for an end to uh, the COVID pandemic. Uh, we pray for those who will really struggle because they don't have the health care that we are privileged to have. We pray for our friends, our neighbours, for people we're praying for around the world. Uh, we pray your protection over them. We pray that people would know your love and your acceptance. Would you help us uh, to be bold in our faith and to keep praying for people everywhere? Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's join together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Father in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be your, your name. name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, your, your will be done, done on earth as, as in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us today our, our daily bread. bread. Forgive, forgive us our sins, sins as we forgive, forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours, now and, and forever. forever. Amen. Amen. So good when we pray that we can make peace with God, and we're reminded that God loves us and he restores us into a friendship with him. We remember that Jesus is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross, and we meet all over the place in his name, and we share in his peace. So may the peace of the Lord be with you. So why don't we um, message someone, DM someone, and make a big chain like this. and easy to give and it can be done through any device just visit stswiggins.org and go to the giving page 
click give online and you can choose between a one-off donation or donating regularly. Just follow the simple process through. Alternatively, you can give by text by texting SWIFT's link GIVE and then the amount to 07380307800 is your generosity that allows Swithens to fulfil its vision to love, live, go and see lives and communities transformed. Thank you. Well, as we've just seen, one way that we can all play our part to see lives and communities transformed is through giving. And we just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who plays their part in this way, loads of different ways that people give. So thank you so much. Yeah, we are really excited this week because we are heading into our week of prayer. And this will be kicked off with Kingdom Come on Thursday. It will. We love gathering for Kingdom Come. And we were reminded just this week uh, that it was this time last year that we were praying in a week of prayer. We really sense God speaking to us. Just, I mean, just think. I know that a lot has happened in the world in uh, the space of a year. But we were praying for, well, we were praying that we would be in this place. Uh, not just so that we would be warm and comfy. And of course, most people are hopefully warm and comfy at home. Um, but that we would have a place that we could go out from and bless our community with and hasn't that been amazing how we've been able to do that right here through love your neighbor gathering for church even Christmas was here as well uh, we were praying for our words and pictures and we've just seen God come through in ways that we can't even begin to imagine so we thought well let's do it again let's pray pray again Emily tell us a bit about uh, kingdom come and what's coming up this week for our week of prayer yeah, so um, Kingdom Come is really exciting because and Josh is interviewing Mike Andrea, who is the international team leader of 24-7 Prayer. Wow, okay, that's going to be good. And then, are you ready for the, everything else that's happening? Uh, I am. I'm just thinking what an opportunity that is because 24-7 yeah. is pretty big and I'm hoping it will really inspire us and get yeah. us fired up uh, to, to pray and to see things shift. Uh, yeah, what else is yeah. coming up? So we have prayer Zoom rooms, listening for the prophetic, social media-led prayers, virtual prayer walks, youth events, kids events... And some other things, lots of things. Lots of things, loads of things. So if you go to our website, swithens.org forward slash prayer, there's an entire ti uh, a complete timetable up there of ways that you can connect in through the week. And we would just love to mobilize the whole of St. Swithens. We're pretty broad. In fact, I think we've uh, sort of spread out over the, the country to come together and to pray so that things happen. And we just wanted to put lots of different creative things in there so that everyone can find something to connect in with. Uh, and it means that our Kingdom Come Live uh, event is our, our opportunity to gather all over the place together to start praying. Uh, we have this sort of week of prayer, and then we finish off on the 28th, which is the following Thursday, uh, with City Prayer. We'll be joining with other churches and Christians across the city of Lincoln and this area uh, to pray. So what an amazing opportunity. We're very much looking forward to that. We're looking forward to you connecting in with that as well. So uh, don't, don't hold back. Please, let's all get plugged in and take the opportunity to do just that. And this isn't um, just for adults, is it? There's loads oh, of no. kids and youth things happening as well. It is, absolutely. For absolutely everyone. So just a reminder again, stwithens.org forward slash prayer. Uh, have a look, get it in your diary and uh, commit to praying with us. And we look forward to connecting in with you throughout that as well. Now... Uh, party invitations. We've had our uh, invitation-linked prayers. Mm -hmm. uh, thinking a bit about parties and things that you get invited to. Now, I know we've got two chats going on online. We've got Church Online, uh, and we've also got YouTube Premier Chat. We're going to get a bit of a competition going. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So we'd love you, before we explain any more, just to write in the chat, whichever chat you're on, as many things as you can think of that you would get invited to. So something you would get invited to, okay? Start writing in the chat, whichever chat you're on, things you get invited to. How's this going to work, Emily? Right, so we both have lists. We do, we have a list, but it is a secret list. A we secret cannot show list. you. Um, of different things that you can get invited to. And we're going to tick off every time someone on a chat gives us one of the things on our secret list. Absolutely. So we've got nine things. They're both the same. We want to know uh, or see whether YouTube, Premier Chat, or Church Online Chat is going to get most things on our list. Uh, we've given you a head start because there's a slight lag. Uh, don't worry about that. But we're going to get 30 seconds going. And as soon as things start appearing, um, Mads is going to shout out for YouTube. Go YouTube. Give us a whoop whoop. Whoop. Yeah. And then Toby's going to shout out things on the Church Online platform. Let's hear it, Church Online. Whoop whoop. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay. Right. Okay. Do we have anything flowing in so far? Yeah. We do. Okay. So um, I'm going to get a timer going just here. Uh, 30 seconds. Let's see how many things we get. Go, go, go. Here we go. Birthday party. Oh, yeah. Birthday party's on there. Funeral. No, not on my list. Maybe <laughs> shower. No, not on my list. Good, though. Yeah, very good. No. no. Church. Church is on there. Yes. 
cup of tea, invited for a coffee. Hen party. Good, it's good, it's good, it's not on my list though. Anything else? 15 more seconds, a part, what sort of party? Oh, a baptism, yes, 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 okay. Okay, five more seconds. A, wed a wedding, okay, I'm going to give you a wedding. Three, say anything else? One, stop right there. Okay, stop right there. Cheese tasting, did someone just say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good, okay. Uh, forgive me if I lost anything, but I think, I think for YouTube, I've got one, two, three, Four, five. Okay, I definitely heard that one. How many do you think you've got for Church Online? Um, we have six. Six. Okay. <laughs> Can I start for YouTube? Okay. So we got a birthday party, correct? Uh, we got church. Very good. Um, I, I mean, this is slightly tenuous. A wedding. Someone said wedding anniversary. I'm just ticking wedding. Uh, no. And um, a baptism we got. That was on there. And someone said uh, uh, for tea. I, out for a drink. Yeah. Same thing, right? No. Okay, good. But <laughs> no, you'd be really tenuous there. <laughs> yeah, really tenuous. Thank you. What did Church Online get? Um, we got an actual wedding. Yes. Um, a christening, a yeah. birthday party, a Christmas dinner, Alpha, and church. Very good, Alpha. Do not forget to invite to Alpha. You got Alpha. Okay, I'm going to give you that tick. Sorry. What I did we get, Ruth? Bucking it. That's not on the list. <laughs> no, it's, I like it though. I like it. Um, okay, uh, YouTube, we didn't get the Christmas dinner. An award ceremony. Did anyone did say an award that? ceremony? You, yep, did okay. They? Church did Online was saying you did. And a house party. You shouldn't be going to those at the moment. Naughty, naughty, <laughs> naughty. But if you did, in theory, you could do. Uh, okay, well, I would say that's pretty close uh, yeah. to a draw. But I think Church Online, we're just about winning it on that one. So, um, well done, Church Online. Very, very good. We like that. Thanks for joining in with that. You've amused us. Uh, we like that very much. Okay, and um, seamlessly, we're going to move into a time of worship again. So uh, why don't we stand, if we're able to, and uh, we're going to hand over to um, Josh at the band. Well, fantastic. Just as we um, enter this um, next time of song worship, I want to just read um, a few words from Psalm 9. Um, those of you who have been reading their Bible in a year, you might recognize um, this passage. Um, and it says this, The Lord reigns forever. He has established his throne for judgment. He rules the world in righteousness and judges the peoples with equity. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Sing the praises of the Lord in the throne of Zion. Proclaim among the nations what he has done. So why don't we right now just, just start to lift up our voices of, of praise for what he has done. Um, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, feel your lost 
As long as you're in it, the story's not finished. I know you overcome, so I know I'll overcome. As long as you're in it, the story's not finished. I know you overcome, so I know I'll overcome. As long as you're in it. The story's not finished I know you've overcome So I know I'm gonna overcome As long as you're in it The story's not finished wherever we find ourselves worshipping scattered all over the place let's just allow the spirit to to lift up those cries for breakthrough is there a longing in you to see things shift and change let's cry out to him just bring those things before him you know, one of the, the pictures we had as we were praying before was a person being drenched in the Spirit. That's His promise for us. He will pour out His Spirit over us. And just where we are, as we cry out for breakthrough, let's be drenched in the Spirit. Holy Spirit, would you come? might just be you you do have a, an area where you're like I'm longing for for breakthrough your heart is breaking just bring that thing before before the Lord today and just offer that to him and Lord we just say we we trust you we rely on you we lean on you to bring breakthrough in our lives 
and in our hurting world. Amen. Amen. We're going to hand over to Caitlin now, who's going to bring us our reading. John 1, 43 to 51. Jesus calls Philip and Nathanael. The next day, Jesus decided to leave for Galilee. Finding Philip, he said to him, follow me. Philip, like Andrew and Peter, was from the town of Bethsaida. Philip found Nathanael and told him, we have found the one Moses wrote about in the law and about whom the prophets also wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nazareth, can anything good come from there? Nathanael asked. Come and see, said Philip. When Jesus saw Nathanael approaching, he said of him, Here truly is an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. How do you know me? Nathanael asked. Jesus answered, I saw you while you were under the fig tree before Philip called you. Then Nathanael declared, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus said, You believe because I told you I saw you under the fig tree. You will see greater things than that. Then he added, Very truly I tell you, you will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Wonderful. Well, good morning to you. Uh, welcome again to St. Swins Online. My name's Jim. I'm the vicar here. Uh, really great to have you with us, uh, either here at the 10.30 or here at the 4.30 as it will be later. And I've realised I've totally tied myself in not. So whenever and however you're joining us, welcome. Uh, what we want to look at today is this next passage in John. Last week, uh, we started a new series, uh, The Jesus I Thought I Knew. We want to go through some of the gospel stories this term, this beginning of the term, and look at some of the things that we thought we knew about Jesus and just examine them again. Now, I don't know if you've ever been invited to something thinking you knew what was involved, but getting there and discovering it was a whole lot more than what you thought you knew. Uh, I remember a few years ago being invited to a wedding. Uh, now, I, I, weddings are great. I love a wedding. It's, it's great when two people get married. But it, I don't know if this is controversial, but sometimes you, as a guest, you go to a wedding and it can kind of, you think you know what you're going to expect. And, you know, there's little tweaks, but, you know, a wedding is a wedding. And uh, we went through a sort of period where we went through, all our friends were getting married. Uh, and so some summers just felt like it was non-stop wedding. It was lovely, and thank you for the invitation. We loved it. But do you know what I mean? Uh, but we went to this one wedding, and I was expecting, you know, good day, run-of-the-mill kind of wedding. Uh, but it was, once we got there, it was amazing. There was, like, all kinds of food. But I don't just mean, like, a big kind of uh, buffet sit-down thing. There was a marquee out in the grounds that had pick and mix in, which Vicky, my wife, particularly loved. And then when you thought it couldn't get any better, this, this other uh, kind of pop-up thing arrived. This van drove in and started serving ice creams, all free, by the way. Uh, and then, to cap it all off, in the evening, a pie stall turned up as well. And this was on top of all the normal stuff. And then they brought out games that you could play. Then there was a double decker ride, go double decker bus ride, and it was like it just compared to what I thought I knew a wedding was, compared to what I expected, this just blew those expectations out of the water. I thought I knew what to expect when I got the invitation, but it turns out there was a whole lot more. Now we're looking at this series, The Jesus I Thought I Knew, and today in particular we're looking at a new invitation. Now perhaps you already think you know what Jesus' invitation to you is. Perhaps you know what to expect when you're passing that invitation on to others. Perhaps you think you know how they're going to respond. But what if that invitation from Jesus to you and that invitation that you offer in turn to others is actually far more than you think you know? And the passage the lectionary has for us today is all about an invitation. It's about the invitation to follow Jesus. And we see Jesus calling first Philip, and then Philip going and calling Nathaniel. Now set this in its context. Last week, we looked at the baptism of Jesus. And the words that John used are full of this amazing kind of cosmic pictures, this amazing God who created, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was, and we've got this picture of this amazing God. When Jesus is baptized, we see the Holy Spirit coming, and God speaking. This is just like amazing, cosmic kind of stuff. And then, as we move into Jesus calling his disciples, verse 43 here, uh, the phrase starts, the next day. We've gone from the cosmic and the mind-blowing 
to just common everyday language, the next day. And that's the point, or part of the point I think John's making, that this amazing God in Jesus presents an invitation in the very common, in the very everyday. There's an invitation for each one of us at a particular time, in a particular place, like there was for Philip and like there was for Nathaniel. And we get a particular invitation today. Jesus is inviting each one of us today, not just kind of cosmically and come and know me, but right now, right here, amidst everything that's going on, Jesus is inviting you. And that's the invitation Jesus has given Philip. And Philip's mind is blown by this invitation. I wonder how often our mind is blown by the invitation of Jesus or whether we just take it for granted. But Philip's is so blown that we read that he can't help but pass the invitation on. He, he, He gives an invitation that he's received and passes it straight to Nathaniel. The invitation is, dear Nathaniel, come and see. Now, I don't know if you've got any chocolates left over uh, in your household from Christmas. Uh, We've got a few left. We did really well uh, for chocolates this year. Uh, We've still got a tin of unopened Quality Street here as well. And one of the things we love uh, when kind of we're unwrapping presents, like someone will unwrap the chocolates and go, look, 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 we've got some chocolates. We don't hoard it all ourselves. We like to share it with the rest of the family. Come and see. We've got some chocolates. Come and share in those with me. And William Temple, he said this, as soon as Philip becomes a disciple, he becomes a missionary. That is the only true disciple. And you see this gospel, uh, John's gospel, particularly out of all four gospels, isn't sure of heavy, weighty theology concepts and, and kind of, there's all sorts that John's trying to do here in theology. But what's interesting is we read through the gospel, the spread of Jesus' message isn't just marked by this weighty theology, but it's marked by people's personal encounter and experience and just passing that on. Come and see. So that's our first invitation. The second invitation that appears in this passage, I think, is show me. You see, this time it's not an invitation from Jesus. It's actually the invitation from Nathaniel. He's a bit skeptical. He's not quite... Sure, it's like he's been around this kind of road before. Here's another Messiah. Here's someone else promising this. Surely nothing good can come out of Nazareth, he says. He's kind of saying to Jesus, prove it. Show me. Jesus, if you're real, if you're really the person Philip's saying that you are, well, come and show me. And I love this because it tells us it's perfectly okay for us to invite Jesus and that before we sort of invite him into our life if you like that phrase it's perfectly fine to invite Jesus to show you God I've got this issue with this I don't really kind of know where you are there's a world pandemic on really you're the God who loves us like this happened really or that doesn't make sense well maybe the invitation that you need to make to Jesus today is show me tell me more. These chocolates, you see, uh, there's no good just leaving it as a come and see. You've got to sort of take the lid off. And in our household, like, we want to find what's in it. And so someone will say, well, show me, show me what's in it. And we have a look and you've got the milk chocolate block. You've got the toffee penny. You've got the coconut eclair. Show me more. Help me understand the extent of what is in here. No one likes the coconut one, by the way, I don't think either. So the second invitation is show me. Now, the third invitation then comes. And the third invitation, I think, is from Jesus to Nathaniel. Come and see was the first one, just checking. Uh, The third one, uh, that's the second one, show me. The third one, I was right along, is be filled. Come and taste, be filled. Uh, And when we have these chocolates again, there's no point in looking at them. There's no point understanding and saying, show me what's in them. Surely the best way is to be filled, is to taste them. So I'm just going to lob a few out to the few team in the room. Taste me, show, have one. There we go on the sound team. There we are right at the back. I've just nearly broken a telly. Sorry about that, Josh. Come and taste. Come and be filled. You see, Jesus gives Nathaniel a taste. Like he, he shows Nathaniel that he knows him. 
He gives him these little clues that says, I saw you when you were under the fig tree. I'm showing you, I know a bit about you. But then he goes on and he says, greater things than this you will see. Greater things than this you will see. I want you to know more. And he he starts talking about Jacob's ladder. and, And that's a reference to the Old Testament where Jacob, one of the patriarchs, had a dream. And in this dream, he sees uh, heaven open and his on the earth. And he sees this ladder between heaven and earth and angels going up and down. It's kind of a promise that God's going to be with Jacob and reveal himself. But what Jesus says here, effectively, is forget the angels, if you like. Right now, I have come. This is going back to last week, what Jesus came to be baptized for. I am the ladder. I am the one who will bring the heaven to the earth. I'm the one who will bring the kingdom. I'm the one who's died to save you. I'm not just a Messiah. No, I'm the son of God. Come, I'll show you even bigger and greater things. Come and be filled. Uh, This Wednesday, we're launching our next Alpha course. It's been amazing uh, to see Alpha online and the way that's worked and the way different people have come and, uh, and kind of asked questions and said, show me, or other people have invited others and said, come and see. And some have responded to that invitation from Jesus uh, to say, come and be filled. And we're just going to watch Megan's story now. Megan was on this last Alpha course, and we just want to listen to her story. Megan, um, how did you find out about Alpha and why did you decide to come along? Yeah, I found out about Alpha um, while attending St. Swithin's online and I saw someone else kind of share their experience and it sounded interesting to me and then just the idea of it kind of continued to pop up in my mind. So my husband and I had just moved to the area and so I thought it would be a good way to kind of get plugged into to the church. Awesome. So what was your experience of Alpha then? I loved it. Um, I absolutely loved it. I loved the music. Um, I loved everyone that was part of my breakout group and loved the discussion. Loved that the questions that we had in the breakout group um, were very simple which and open-ended, which led to what felt like really pr- profound discussion to me. And I loved all the speakers that shared their different experience and, and wisdom. Brilliant. So what kept you coming back then? Was really just the experience. I loved it. I felt energized after the first week and it was something that I looked forward to each week. Enjoyed, you know, feeling a part of a community, which is something that's a little bit more tricky right now with all the different lockdowns. Um, So it was a way of really being able to kind of continue to gather together with other people who are eager to get to know Jesus better. Brilliant. So why would you recommend Alpha? Because you've signed your husband up, haven't you, for this term? I have, yeah. Yeah, he and I will be doing it um, together, which I think will be really enjoyable. And yeah, just for the reasons I kind of already mentioned, just that I I think it's so important we're called to be part of a community and there's there aren't as many opportunities for that right now. So what difference does Jesus make in your life? Yeah, the word um, that kind of comes to mind for me right now with my relationship with Jesus is that he is my rescuer. Um, He rescues us from this world that can be really difficult to navigate sometimes. I love uh, that story uh, from Megan. It just has kind of all of those invitations in there. The the, the come and see, the, the, the kind of asking Jesus, show me, and then the come and be filled, come and find more. And you know, as we read through John's gospel, as we've looked at the last two weeks, there's all kinds of theological and cosmic and awesomeness about God. And yet the gospel spreads through one person telling another, telling another, like the paper chain that Matt and Emily were forming early, like sharing chocolates with others. Why? Because it's an amazing invitation. And if you don't feel like that, then I just say maybe again, we need to look again and go, is it the invitation that we thought we knew? Or do we again just need to hear that invitation afresh? And so as I draw to a close, I just want to ask that question, which of those three invitations rings true most for you today that you need to respond to? Maybe it's the invitation to come and see. Maybe you need to come and see, that's my invitation to you. Come and see, or maybe that's a prompt to, to say that to someone else, maybe inviting them on Alpha Course, maybe online church. Come and see. Maybe for you, you need to give that invitation to Jesus again. Show me. Show me. I, I thought I knew, but 
I don't. I've got so many questions. And God, show me. Maybe that's your invitation this morning. Or maybe it's responding to that invitation of Jesus to say, come and be filled. Come and know everything about me. Come and know my kingdom coming on earth. Come and taste and see that I am good. Not just have one, but have the whole box and know me and be filled by me. You see, Jesus' invitation isn't this grand concept, although it is that as well, but more specifically, it's a particular invitation in a particular time, in a particular place, and that invitation is for you and it's for me to come and know him, the Messiah, the Son of Man, the Son of God, the one who laid down his life because he loves you. Come and know me. Come and be filled. I'm going to hand back over to uh, Emily and Matt, who are just going to round our service off uh, in prayer together. What an amazing opportunity now for us to respond. And so wherever you are this morning, if you're with us here uh, in the Sort House, some of the team are here, if you're at home, uh, if you're on your own or with other people, then why don't we just uh, stand where we're at and uh, take a moment to respond to some of those invitations. I think just the first thing to do maybe is just to work out where you are. Which of those three are you holding on to this morning? Do you want to respond to come and see, come and show me, or come and be filled? We're just going to invite the Holy Spirit to come and to meet with us where we're at and to come and work in our lives. So we pray, would you come, Holy Spirit? And so for each and every person who said, this morning I'm, I'm going to come and see, and respond to that invitation to come and see, we pray, Jesus, that you would reveal yourself to those who are hearing you, perhaps for the first time, or thinking about coming, coming home to you. For those who are praying, come and show me. Lord Jesus, would you speak to each person of all ages, show them that they are loved and invited to be known by you. And for those who pray, come, be filled, respond to that invitation, we pray, Holy Spirit, you'd fill us afresh with your presence. Amen. Amen. Let's head to worship. In my wrestling and in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Oh, oh, you are the peace in my troubled sea. In the silence, you won't let go. In the questions, your truth will hold. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. In my travels, see my lighthouse, my lighthouse shining in the darkness, and I will follow you. Oh, my lighthouse, my lighthouse, and I will trust the promise you will carry me safe to shore.
Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Why don't you try today to make a prayer chain and see if you can get them longer than Matt and I's. Yeah, it's a good way to pray. And don't forget, we have got our week of prayer starting on Thursday. Uh, do check out the website, stswithlands.org forward slash prayer. Uh, we'd love to um, hear from you as well this week, so do be getting in touch. Uh, so much to look forward to, and we'll see you on Thursday. We also have our um, older kids and our younger youth. They meet on Sundays after uh, the 10.30 service. Uh, how do they find out about that, Emily? Um, Rising Gen's email, or check out the website. Good call, good call. Okay, so may you know uh, today Jesus' invitation to come and to know him, to come and see, to come and be shown his amazing love, to come and be filled. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for joining us, and we look forward to connecting in with you this week. Bye. Bye.